Before server, you server huggers. <laughs> yeah, you got ch we, we, that, that culture issue again, yeah, right? Yeah, ch changing the culture. I mean, it, we, the, the gentleman that had described uh, the issue you have with everybody putting up firewalls and not wanting to get rid of their stuff, uh, that, that, that is a challenge. And, and it, what we always tell our folks, it's really about, you know, it's the taxpayers' dollars and doing what's right to maintain operational effectiveness, increase security, and the third order effect is gaining efficiency. You know, along the way, you want to gain efficiency, but we got to maintain operational effectiveness, and we want to increase security. Uh, so, we've got many, many years of a culture that's been built up where folks, we, you know, we allowed folks uh, to 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 build. Uh, the networks and put things on the networks and and out of necessity I mean we, we're, we're 10 years at war now and so we've generated a lot of applications and a lot of capability and now as we start to draw down and we start to I mean we understand where the economy's at and we got to do the right thing for the taxpayer uh, it's really getting people to reverse their mindset a little bit and, and say you know you don't have to control it to own it or let me reverse that. I'm sorry. You don't have to own it to control, control it. it. I said it backwards. <laughs> right. See, you got me out of the Pentagon, and now I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> but we, but you see how quick you corrected yeah, it. That, I mean, right. you had I, that I down. It, so that's good, good contingency <laughs> planning. <laughs> so, so you know, to me, and, and it was already mentioned here, the, the resourcing piece. Uh, I think that I think our leadership is committed to making this happen, and they're and and uh, you know they're, they're applying in as many resources as they can get us at the because they understand that this is gonna we're gonna have to spend a little money to make a little. Money. Right, uh, but at the same time, to, again, to, uh, and we run into the same challenges. We we have we have applications on army depots and arsenals, manufacturing plants, uh, where we're actually manufacturing and, and building and rebuilding tanks. We, we're in a large reset mission coming out of Iraq, and so all of that stuff that's coming out and being refit and going back to uh, back into Afghanistan, uh, there are some very specific missions and very specific applications that, although the Army wants to say, you know, we, we really want to we want to consolidate and do the right thing, mm -hmm. there is going to be a balancing here of mission critical systems staying on local post camps and stations. Other things, and it was mentioned, enterprise services, common services, uh, we move up to the cloud. But it's, it's really about the challenge of getting people to, to, to get away from the idea that they have, they have to own right. it to control right. it. Right. Uh, and we're going to get there because we got a lot of literally stars that are going to help us do what we got to do. One of the other yeah, challenges good. that we run into is, uh, in, in the Army at least, and I think this is probably indicative of the rest of the DOD, uh, when we get ready to move to commercial or whether we're moving into uh, a DISA provider or something of that nature, one of the challenges we have is getting the customer or the user to understand total cost of ownership. Right. And the fully burdened cost of running, uh, for instance, an application within an Army-owned and operated data center. Right. Because when you go to a post camper station, what we run into is you have an installation that's funded in such a way as to fund the facility. Mm -hmm. You have the, the, a mission commander, an organization that funds an application, and then you have somebody else that pays for the network. Right. And so the, when, when we get ready to turn to industry or we get ready to turn to another service provider, what we find is the answer is always that it costs more because all they're, all, all they're paying is the application cost. Yeah. And so what we're trying to develop is what is the model that, that causes the user and the organization to look themselves in the mirror to say, no, here's really the total cost of ownership and the fully burdened cost that when I go to industry or when I go to a DISA mm -hmm. uh, for a letter estimate, they're giving you that cost back. And so you may think you're only paying $5.25 today, but in reality, the taxpayer's paying more than that. You, but we just got to make sure we, at, we, we, we cause them to ask themselves the right questions and they capture those costs. So when we do the apples to apples comparison, we can say, yes, it is more cost effective yeah. for an enterprise servicing app to go here versus for me to do it myself. Yeah. And, th and that really has been one of the one of the major hurdles that we got to get out of get over of why people don't want to move uh, because they always say it's cheaper to stay where I'm at. Right. That's